Morning, Jay. You're a champion. Thank you so much. Any morning coffee with the sunrise. How's it being at Mabua? Mm. Yeah, it's good to be back here. We were here, I think, the second time we ever came out to Botswana and the area. And uh, yeah, we're back at the same campsite, funny enough. So yeah, good to be back. Beautiful sunrise and uh, yes, this view of this pan is amazing. So yeah, the next uh, four or five days here. Um, and already heard the lion last night, so hopefully we'll find him real quick. Botswana's Mabur Sahuba Game Reserve forms a part of the Khalakhari Transfrontier Park. You can enter Mabur Sahuba via Botswana or South Africa along the 120 km 4x4 Boso Trail from Nossa Breast Camp as we did. Mabur Sahuba is a remote and wild destination, with the closest Botswana town being a good couple hours drive away and the closest South African town being even further. It is a very popular camping and overlanding destination for the wild at heart, with only extremely basic campsites being the available accommodation, but it still gets booked up a year in advance. You need to be fully self-sufficient to stay in Mabua. There is no electricity and most of the campsites do not have water or taps. The reserve attracts avid wild campers, mainly for its abundant predators and its unique scenery. It is well known for its lions, with frequent visits and campsites from them. The landscape is semi-arid, much like the rest of the Khalakhari, but the attraction is definitely in its stunning pans around which the camps are built. There are six pans which attract a lot of planes game, bird life and of course plenty of predators. The scarce supply of water ensures that the purpose-built water holes always deliver on something interesting to see, from birds to jackal to the elusive brown hyena. Sitting in your camp or sitting at the pans or water holes, Mabua Suhube always delivers an amazing experience. So we're just heading out on a uh, bit of a drive to get some water now. Um, and uh, we always uh, try and give the kids something to do. This is what we get subject to while we're driving. Mabua Pan campsite where we were staying has no water, so we travelled roughly 20 kilometres along the sandy track to visit Mapaya Pan, where there is water available. We enjoyed relaxing at this pan and watching the water hole. Talk us through how you made this bread. Sure, it was very tricky, hey? I went to my <laughs> local store and got a, got a beer bread mix. Then I went to the bottle store and I bought a beer. Just I one beer? Just, okay, I bought six beers because they come in six packs in any. Cost a lot. Then I drove 1,700 kilometers to my boy to make it. And we put it in our, mix it up in our special mixing bowl from Old Ed. And put it in our, our uh, what do you call that, a bra oven. You know? <coughs> uh, 
camp oven. Let's just call it a camp, camp oven. oven. He has a but, it, but it's a proper one that you put coals on the top of. And 40 minutes later, we've got this marvelous piece of work right here. Now we're going to eat it together That's with that filet. The best bread I've ever seen. I'm Chicken not even bread. joking. Crispy on, crispy on top. Can't go wrong. And this one is garlic and herb. While the boys had a very important discussion about the bread, they ignored my warnings about the blackback jackal and he proceeded to come into our camp and steal our GoPro that was taking a time lapse. Yeah, so we were just uh, working up on our second morning, eh? yeah, second morning, um, it would work. Um, and uh, Ed heard something in the camp, so he got out to have a look, and there was some lion spur right by his tent. Um, and you know, he had a look on the pan, and there's two female lions that are walking across the pan. Um, so yeah, we just jumped in the car real quick. It's one degree at the moment, so got us up quickly. But um, yeah, have a look. Beautiful sunset coming up. Lions walking across the pan. Uh, amazing. Just didn't have time to make coffee, but we'll do that just now. Take a look at this. to wake up hey two female lions in camp thanks Ed from that one hearing them and uh, yeah I've got a few few shots across the pan there now we've come back here with some special bush coffee teach the point. people what you've developed here in the bush life, huh? yeah I've uh, gone a bit overboard on the on the power um, but for a very good reason it's coffee <laughs> now um, we've got uh, some lithium batteries, two, uh, sorry, one lithium battery, 200 amp hour, um, a nice 1,600 watt inverter, and that allows us to have an espresso in the bush. And I think that's uh, yeah, it's a luxury. There's a lot of dust on it. This one. I can't do the hot, sorry. Oh. There we go. Why, thank you. How oh, good is that? It's going to be the best coffee I've ever had in the bush. Sitting in camp, relaxing, enjoying the views, there are always plenty of critters around to entertain you, like these really cute ground squirrels and very often a yellow mongoose that share their burrow. Um, we obviously 
saw the lion this morning on the pan, um, right in camp, walked right through camp. Um, we tried to follow them, but we lost them in the grass. The grass here was quite long and exactly the same colour as them, so that makes it quite tricky. Um, yeah, then we went to the other pan um, where there was also a water hole, um, and obviously, yeah, so that, that campsite and that area, and it was very nice. Uh, and then headed to reception. Um, just to see if we could change camps, but they're fully booked, so we're staying here, but that's no biggie. Um, such a such a nice campsite anyway. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we just picked up a bit of Wi-Fi there, luckily. Um, the guy kindly let us hook on to that, and yeah, just so we can check in and just make sure everything's right at home. Um, you know, uh, with today's uh, connected world, um, it's, yeah, it's a bit weird for everybody, I think, when they're out of signal for so long. Yeah, just to check in and make sure the house is alright and everything else. We did that, um, which is great. Caught up in a couple of emails. Um, and now we're back at camp. It's, the wind's been pumping all afternoon, so we just chilled. Kids had a nice sleep and a rest. Now they're playing hopscotch in the sand because it's died down. And now I've got one hitting my leg. Yes, what? Tell me. What? What are you doing? I'm going to take a picture. A picture? Yeah, right. of the hopscotch. Of the hopscotch. Alright, let's go. Show me. Let's go see what they're doing. Got to do what you can here. Sure, look at this. Look at that. Well done, girls. Go for it. Good job, Lexi. Two. Good girl. Well done, well done. Okay. Go, okay, we're just chilling. Gonna make a nice fire tonight. What's on the menu tonight, love? We are having um, some chicken that I've just marinated in lemon and herbs. And then we are doing some veggie. We're doing some veggie skewers with peppers, onions, tomato, mushrooms. And some halloumi. I'll skip on the mushrooms. <laughs> some halloumi and then Ed said he's got a garlic roll that we need to use so yeah, we'll yeah. just chill around the fire it's such an awesome campsite last night we had a really naughty blackback jackal come through and while we were taking a time lapse it stole the GoPro but yeah. we managed to, <laughs> to scare it yeah we had to have a run for that one yeah and, uh, um, nothing like losing a GoPro here and nine in the bush at night yeah so we managed to get it back luckily but we had to fend that guy off all night, so yeah, it was fun. And we're hoping for more adventures tonight. Yeah, we had the tra uh, ca trap camera out last night at the toilets, and um, there was a brown hyena caught on there, which we've seen in this camp and seen some, uh, well, done some photos in here. You might have seen in one of our other episodes. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to catch him again. It's great, but for now, we're gonna start the fire and get it going for our bra this evening. Another amazing fireside meal shared with great company and some stargazing finishes off this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please have a look at the rest of the episodes in the series and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.